I've got that item. Okay, so hopefully now you're seeing what I'm about to show you. This is from the wild one. It's this carry doggy bag. If you're a New Yorker, I feel like these are super helpful and super important um, and super practical because technically to go on the subway with a dog, you need to have a bag that your dog will fit in. I'm sure you've seen the memes of like people trying to fit their dog in bags. So I actually have another travel bag from the wild one. Um, I, I believe it's like an older model. I think this one came out more recently. That one used to be like our subway bag, but it was just really, really bulky. It was really big. And like, honestly, Poe's really only in the bag for the subway. He's not like constantly in the bag, like when we're walking. So this guy is like really nice because you can put it on your shoulder, like with him in it. But then when he's not in it, I think it collapsed very small and it can even go like this which is like super nice because our other one is like humongous. I don't know if you guys have like carriers or like dog travel bags, but they're usually really, really like wide, which is hard to carry when he's no longer in the bag. So this guy is really nice because it just like collapsed. And also for New Yorkers, when they're um, short on space in your apartment, this is like way more condensed and like so easily just like fits in your closet by the side like our other one is like twice as wide as this so that's why i'm like making such a big deal of how impressed i am by this also the wild one bags are such good quality like they're so sturdy we first got a bag for Poe and like pet smart i think when we first got them um we first got a um doggy bag from petco and it just made me so nervous putting him in it because it, like, honestly felt like he was just going to, like, the bag was going to break. Like, he was going to fall out of the bag. But this one, like, the wild one one, I have no problem. It just feels so nice. And, oh, he's going to bark, so I'll go good. Okay. All right, all right. I'll get it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to demonstrate um, him in the bag. Hopefully, he's in a good mood, but sometimes he's not. Um, but he's actually not too bad about this one, I think, because the, like, hole for him is really nice. The ring light's gonna go away <laughs> right now. Um... <laughs> Hi, Kylie. <laughs> um, but I think because, like, the neck hole for him is, like, really low, which also, again, a lot of bags don't have. Like, I feel like a lot of bags, like, cover his face. And that's the part that makes him anxious about, like, dog bags. Um, and I'm going to quickly zip it up. I'm trying to make the best. Oh, you guys. I know there's food outside like dinner thanks sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> trying to have good light but also struggling okay i'm gonna zip it up He has a little bit of a chunk, but he fits perfectly in it. Like, he's, he's kind of upset because um, I'm holding him from dinner. But, like, honestly, man's is, like, okay in this bag. Like, his head is, like, out, which is really nice because usually, like, he's, like, in the bag. And he's just not a bag dog, so this one is, like, good. Plus, when he's on the subway, he'll just be on the ground, like, sitting. And I think he's <laughs> the carrying part of this. He's like falling asleep right now. But yeah, overall, he really likes it. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I know, you're done. All right. Poe's gonna leave the live stream because <laughs> he, wants, he wants dinner. 
Okay, back to scheduled programming. Um, but yeah, as you can see by the demonstration, we really, really like this bag. It looks like this bag is about 150, which again sounds really expensive. And I mean, it is definitely an investment for like a bag for a dog. But I was just, I was just so not happy with like the PetSmart brand. When we got them, I would rather just get one bag for $150 than get several bags, like $30 each, like several times, because the like straps are breaking or like the um, base is starting to sag, which is another thing that we experienced a lot. But this guy, like the base is sturdy AF. And again, pose 20 pounds and like the design of it makes it feel like I'm not carrying 20 pounds on my shoulder, which is nice. And I think my favorite feature is just the dip, how low and deep the dip is, just because he can put his whole head out and he knows that he's like not really in a bag. He's like kind of in a bag, but he can like see the world. So Paul and I both approved this guy. Okay, moving on. And again, since I'm sent, since I'm um 